What's up guys, it's your boy Connor. This video is brought to you by Hardcore Cycles Inc. We got some oil, dude. We struck oil. We're in Texas and we like our oil. <laughs> so this is going to be the Maxima race oil in a box or the box change kit. This is going to be the quick change kit, which is primarily only engine oil and your filter. You can choose between chrome and black. This is going to be for the V-Twin. Comes in a box, comes with all these goodies you see here. And the little filter comes with some hardcore cycle swag. We got a shop rag. Oh, uh, yeah, boy. And they cater to several different motor types. You have your Evo engines, you have your Evo Sportster engines, you have your Sportster engines, you're gonna have your V Twin Dyna Squad, and then you're also gonna have your Milwaukee Ace. Now, they do offer two different packages that come with it. It's gonna be your quick change, like we stated earlier, it's going to be just for your engine oil, and they also offer the full change kit, which is gonna include your primary and transmission along with your engine oil. And you can choose between chrome and black filter. That's gonna play a small role whether you choose the quick change or the full change, as well as with the chrome and black, but it's not gonna break the bank. Now, if you do a quick change kit for the V-Twin, it's going to be, you're looking around $65 to $71 range, and the difference is going to be with the chrome or black filter. Now, if you go to the full change kit, again, they may vary per engine. If you run the Evo, if you run the V-Twin, as well as Milwaukee, it's going to vary by a, couple, by a couple of dollars. But for the full change kit, again, depending on which filter you get, you're looking about the $85 to $91 range, which isn't bad. I run Sin 3 on my motor for the longest time, with the exception of one time where we ran Amsoil. And the Sin 3, uh, if you go to a local dealership with everything, the filter, the O-rings, everything, you're looking about $100 more or less, $104 if I remember correctly. And with the Amsoil, with all Amsoil primary transit engine, you're looking about $114, $115, about more or less, depending on where you go in your shop. Uh, and this is with, if you do the full change kit, you're about $90 with the filter. And then if you get the O-rings, I just usually just buy a whole bunch at Harley Davidson whenever I'm there. I'll swing by the shop and be like, yo, I need like 10 O-rings. And they're like, okay, dude, done. And then boom, I'll just keep them in my toolbox. So what's the benefit of doing this? It really depends on the kind of person that you are and how you like to keep up with your bike to where if you live right by the dealership and you don't mind scooting down, going for a quick rip, get your oil and come back, then you know that's the option for you. This just adds a little bit more flexibility to where if you work a lot, you just always happen to miss the dealership hours or you just for plain old forget. You can just go ahead, if you're shopping a hardcore cycle sink, throwing a new pipe in there, if you're throwing a trask, or if you're doing some flow motorsport foot pegs, you're, you know, you're just trying to club style your dyno. Or if you got a bag or you got some stuff going on there, Sportster, you're trying to throw a little wheelies, a couple of something, you're trying to make your sporty a dyno, who knows? You know, I'm not partial to dynas. But this kind of adds that, just that way. I mean, we live in a pretty fast environment now, there's society, our world, everything's just touch and go off your phone. You can go ahead and order it, and so that way you can have it shipped to you you come home after work like, damn, I got the oil, let's do this. Uh, or if you're out of town and you just don't want to deal with having to bring it back with you and then you just order online, it'll be waiting at your door. Uh, again, with Hardcore Cycles Inc., their shipping is relatively fast. And I love supporting them. Uh, but that's it, guys. That's pretty much it. We're going to go ahead and dive right in. Uh, this is just the oil filter. So now we're just going to go ahead and do a quick oil change. There's tons of them out there. Now, when you change your oil, before we even get into this, you're going to want to maybe protect your motor mount, your front motor mount, because if you don't have those cool little Harley things, I've even tried a couple of make my own sprites, oil still gets everywhere. I pretty much just accepted that and I just put a bunch of shop towels right where my front motor mount is. No matter what, it just I still open it and try to cap it and then just cover it. It still leaks all over the place. My motor mount's pretty shot, so we're just going to kind of just willy-nilly it. We're going to replace it pretty soon, so don't do that. Always do proper practice when you're changing your oil. Be sure and check your owner's manual for your torque specifications for everything, whether it be your oil cap. A lot of it's hand tight, unless some people get there with a torque wrench, like, oh, I want it tight. No, you're only messing things up. So pretty much changing your oil, you're going to go ahead and unplug the drain plug. Uh, it's easier to unscrew the oil cap, that way it just flows through. Instead of having any kind of pressure, uh, remove the oil filter and then you're good to go let it drain. I like to let it drain for a hot little minute and then I'll remove the uh, oil filter. And even then, like we said, we drop a lot of oil on the front motor mount. That's not the best way to do it because then your motor mount gets compromised and then you have to buy a new one every so often. So what you want to do is get like those little, uh, they sell them the orange ones over at Harley Davidson. Uh, it's a good little investment, it's like 14 bucks. You're just going to buy it once and then use it from continued on use. You may want to do it right. I still have yet to buy one. I've tried making one out of a water bottle, made one out of a Coke bottle, and I still get oil everywhere. So one thing I ended up finding uh, my owner's manual, maintenance manual, 
online and I printed out put in a little binder and I have like a quick reference guide regarding uh, regarding the amount of engine oil, transmission oil, primary case oil, and the torque specs for each. Even though you do it hundreds, hundreds and hundreds of times, you always want to just run to torque just that way. I mean, you're by the book, you're good to go. And then just write a little note of when you did your maintenance. Just, just that way if you forget, you remember if you did or not. So we're gonna go ahead and crack this thing open. Dope. So, while we were gone, the postman brought us some goodies from Trash Performance. Hell yeah, dude, much appreciated, guys. So just like that we're done this is the maxima racing oil we picked up from hardcore cycles inc be sure and check out their instagram be sure and hit them up on the site